Hello, welcome to the Canadian Arctic Breakout how-to video. In this video, I'm going to go through how you can use this activity with your class and actually go through the breakout so you can see how all the locks um, become unlocked. So I'm starting here on an instructions and tips page, which you may or may not want to use with your class. This page is created with the idea that not all classrooms or students are working within a traditional model. So on the first page here, I'm not going to read verbatim what's on the page because I know that you all can do that yourself, but I'm going to kind of go over the gist of each area. So in the want to do section, it's kind of creating the idea that students should read all the information that they're given. This is a content breakout. And so regardless of if the um, information helps them solve a clue or not, it's actually going to be important for the content. And in this case, it's social studies. Also, the way that this breakout works is that there are there's a form set in, and that's where all the locks are. This works best if it is actually popped out of the site, and I'll model that in a moment. It's really encouraged that students work with others and that they kind of have a, a spot to jot down some ideas or if they have to, you know, reorder numbers or words that they have a place to do that. Read and write for Google Chrome works really well to support students um, for reading passages that might be more, more complex than they're used to. And a, just a reminder of a growth mindset that this is something that you know, if we get stuck, we will be able to solve it. We might just have to look at it a different way or ask for help. And then students will click here if they're ready to start. But if you scroll down to the bottom, there's actually a little teacher link there. And this is meant to give teachers some further information. So again, this talks about that this is made for Alberta students. Um, the grade five social studies curriculum is sort of the, the base of it, that the materials you'll need for this are pretty simple. Um, students will need to access the website in some way and they'll need a device. I really suggest that people go through the breakout either by watching this video or reading the spoilers below or attempting it. Students may um, feel more successful if they have previous experience or knowledge of a few things. So um, Google Maps is one, knowing how to use word search, knowing how to use Quizlet, knowing how to use the date in the format of day, month, year. Um, they should know about latitude and longitude. There is an article that helps them with this, but it might be um, not the ideal time to introduce it. And again, if you're going to encourage them to use Read and Write for Google Chrome, it's ideal that they have used it prior to this. Since I'm going to actually walk through this, the breakout with you, I'm not going to go through the spoilers, but I would encourage you if you use this breakout with your class to give me a little feedback on how it went. I can use it to either modify this breakout and make it even better, or I could use that feedback to help guide me in future breakouts. Um, at any point, students can get to the breakout by clicking home. So the home takes us to this page, and this is basically the only thing that they ever need to come back to. This is the main page for the breakout. So they have um, sort of the teaser for sets the story about the breakout. They have an embedded My Map from Google and the Google Form, which, as I mentioned, should be popped out. So here we have the form, which I'm going to change the view for. And in this breakout, there's a seven number lock, which is actually six numbers plus a decimal. There's a seven letter lock. There's a color code. So for example, if the answer was green, orange, pink, it would be G, green, orange, key, pink. As you can see, until they get the answer correct, the lock remains locked. Students will also need to know how to write the date with a day, month, year format, two digits, two digits, four digits. So we are going to leave this open. I'm going to close this tab and I encourage to model uh, with students keeping tabs at a minimum to help them access the information they need. Um, in a little easier way. There's no um, particular order that this 
breakout needs to happen in, I'm going to simply work left to right with the dropped pins for this walkthrough. The first one takes us to a national park and has two hyperlinks. I'm going to open them both. And hopefully students will notice that the national park's name is on the word search. The article is relatively short on purpose, knowing that students may not want to stay on this page too long, but we're hoping that students actually read to the end. Again, if that's something that they would prefer to use Read and Write for Google Chrome for, then certainly let them do that. Hopefully they will realize that this article is mostly about the different animals that you would find in this park. There are some hyperlinks in here. They do not need to follow them. All the information they need is on this page including a little succinct paragraph here about much of the wildlife you can find there. When they go here, hopefully they will realize that these are the animals that they just read about, and they are going to get a different scrambled word search each time they go to this. So no one will have the same word search. And as students work through the word search, so black bear, it'll cross off the animal they found. Hopefully students will notice that there are a few unusual words like gear falcon, but that's a word that they would have read in the article. There's gonna be one word that they have not read and I'll do my best to pronounce that one. It's an inuktitut word for key, nagek. So students could copy that word or maybe they're going to go over to this page and use a find feature and start to type it to see if it's in the article. Ideally, they have figured it out that it is the answer to the seven letter lock. Now I can close these tabs. Moving on, I'm going to a new Vic where I'm going to open the two tabs or two links. One is a very short article about latitude. It reminds them that it goes east to west. And then they get the coordinates for Inuvik. They might do a guess and check. Hopefully they will realize that this one's the latitude that they can copy and then paste into the lock. Again, once I'm done, I can close those tabs and I can move on to the next pin. This one tells me a little bit about some of the natural resources that I find there that are more mineral based. So students will read these, hopefully noticing that the, some of them are capitalized, and then they will open up this article. Again, they can use Read and Write for Google Chrome to support them. Knowing that some students may skim um, instead of reading the whole article, there are some key things highlighted. So some facts that are important for them to know are the natural resources, the wildlife that they've already read about, some information about manufacturing, the factories that do operate usually process foods such as meat, fish, and other seafood. And then they'll see four items highlighted under mining, diamonds, gold, iron ore, and uranium. These are the same words that were capitalized here. The order is important, uranium, iron ore, gold, diamonds, which is actually these backward. So the color code is blue, pink, yellow, orange. Blue, pink, yellow, orange. So now I can close this tab and I'm left with a date lock. So I can scroll over. And I have simply one hyperlink to a Quizlet. Now, because I've done this Quizlet on this computer before, it opens up at eight for me, but students should open up to one. They can have it read to them or they can read it themselves. And ideally they're clicking in the right hand corner and moving through the different flashcards, looking for information. The last flashcard, Capitals, did you know? And it says Nunuvut 
officially became Canada's third territory on the 1st of April, 1999. So they need to go back to their lock and they're going to say the 1st of April, which is 01-04-1999 and submit. This will now take them to a link for a YouTube video where they've won their helicopter ride over Ellesmere Island. So I hope that helps you. I hope you give this a try with your class. I would love to hear how it goes.